Windows 7, add column to all music folders. In Windows 7 Explorer, when I open a folder containing only music, it's smart enough to show me a custom set of columns, name, hash, title, contributing artists, album, that makes sense for a music folder. However, I also always want to see a length column. I can right-click on the column headers and add the length column, which is persistent for that folder, but when I go to another music folder, it doesn't have the new length column. How do I set up Windows so that all music folders always show me this column? You can add extra columns in the details view in one music folder and then set that as the default for all music folders via the folder options dialog, organize is greater than folder and search options is greater than view and click apply to folders. Win7 is clever enough to only apply this view to other music folders. Joel try this, from here. Constantly changing folder views. A source of frustration for most any Vista user is the ever-changing view type for various folders in Windows Explorer. For example you may set your backslash user's username backslash downloads directory to display in details view, however if you copy a picture, song or video into the directory, the next time you view its contents they may be displaying in large icons view. Even if you go back and change the view type, it may reset itself once again the next time you place a different file type in that directory. It's a genuine issue, and one which doesn't have any logical explanation, fortunately it can be permanently resolved. Solution Open the registry editor and go to the following keys. Key underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash classes backslash local settings backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash shell backslash bags. Key underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash classes backslash local settings backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash shell backslash bag. Right click on the bags key in the left pane and select delete, then do the same thing for bag. This will remove most existing customizations for things like window sizes, positions and views. While still in the same place in the registry editor, you will need to manually recreate one of these keys with a new setting. Right click on the following key in the left pane. Key underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash classes backslash local settings backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash shell. Create a new key called bags to replace the one you just deleted. Right click on bags, select new and GT, key and name this new key or folders. Right click on all folders, select new and GT, key and name this new key shell. The end result should look like this. Key underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash classes backslash local settings backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash shell backslash bags backslash all folders backslash shell. Now left click on the last shell key and in the right pane right click in an empty area and select new string value. Name this new string folder type and once created, double click on it and in the value data box you can set the default view which all folders will initially take, unless otherwise specified, by entering one of the following values. Not specified. Contacts. Documents. Music. Pictures. For example if you enter documents in the folder type value data box, which I recommend, then all folders for which you do not manually set a view will default to the standard documents folder view as you set it. Now in Windows Explorer go to your backslash users username, directory and for each of the main folder types under there, documents, pictures, music, videos, make sure that you set the view you wish, including things like choosing which columns to show and how wide they each are the size of any icon slash thumbnails, the way in which they are sorted, etc. As you make the changes, for each folder click the Organize button at the top of Windows Explorer, select Folder and Search Options, go to the View tab and click the Apply to Folders button. This will set this view for all folders of that same type, and this method also means that should you copy files of any other type into a folder, it will not alter that folder's view settings, from now on the settings should remain exactly as you leave them. 
Update. There is one more step which can help ensure these settings remain fixed. Go to the following key. Key underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash classes backslash local settings backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash shell. Left click on the shell key and in the right pane. If you can see Bagmaru size then there is no need to undertake this step. If it isn't there however, right click and select new and GT, word 32 bit value and name it Bagmaru size. Now set this value to 10,000 in decimal view, or 2,710 in hexadecimal view. I've used this solution for quite a while now without Vista once resetting or changing my folder views, so I can guarantee that it works if applied correctly. If you still find your folder views changing or resetting, or wish to conduct other forms of customization, see the Windows Explorer chapter of the TGTC for more details.